Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. Cindy's off tonight. A man is in custody after a more than eight hour standoff with police. Moments ago, a canine unit helped detain the man who barricaded himself inside the Memphis Drive residence, the same home that was the center of a SWAT standoff in December. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain has been out there just off North Access and Hickson Pike all evening. Caitlin, how did they get him out and what's happening right now? Well, Greg, like you said, it was a long process. We're talking more than eight hours of trying to get this man out of his home. You can see people still here right now debriefing because this all just wrapped up uh, just about 30, less than 30 minutes ago, really. And like you said, it took eight hours. Now, it took more than about, a, well, about a dozen canisters of CS gas that were thrown into the home. That didn't do much. And then a canine unit is actually credited with going in and detaining the suspect who had warrants out for reckless endangerment. We're told he'll be taken to the Hamilton County Jail after an evaluation. Now, neighbors in the area are finally being allowed back into their home once all of this clears out. But for eight hours, they couldn't get into their house. We spoke with one woman who said she heard SWAT yelling commands over the intercom, she, though she couldn't really hear what they were. She said that she was stuck inside of her home while all of this was happening. During that time, her kids were coming home from school. However, they weren't allowed to go from the school bus to the house. They had to call her using the bus driver's cell phone. She had to make other arrangements for her family, but says it was worth it. I definitely had to make a few phone calls to see who could get them and what needed to happen. So, I mean, it's... I'd say it's inconvenient, but I mean, I obviously they're safer where they are right now, so I'm I'm okay with it. Again, we had to speak with her on the phone, even though she's just one street over because she was stuck in her home. Like many neighbors were, other neighbors during this time were evacuated. Businesses went on to lockdown during this roughly eight hours. And Greg, we're told by Chattanooga police, this is the third time they have been called out to this residence for a disorder call that ended in a situation like this. Most recently, it happened in December. Right now, I'm live in Hickson. Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.